Supersonic travel is coming back. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel at twice the speed of sound or how it would feel to get from New York to London in just 3 hours and 30 minutes? Aircraft manufacturers are working towards answering those questions. But before we dive into modern days, we must discuss the past. The Concorde was a well-known supersonic aircraft of the late 1900s and early 2000s. It was first flown in 1969 near Bristol, Britain, which began the age of supersonic travel. However, this aircraft wouldn't last forever. The two main airlines using this aircraft were British Airways and Air France. Singapore Airlines also briefly used the aircraft for the Singapore to London route from 1977 to 1980. As the years went on, maintenance costs for the Concorde rose and eventually became too high for the airlines. On October 24, 2003, the Concorde was officially retired, and it wasn't only the costs of the aircraft that caused this. It was also due to low passenger numbers as well as restrictions. Ever since one of Air France's Concorde's crashed in July of 2000, passenger rates started to lower, and restrictions with the aircraft due to its noise and supersonic boom limited routes, causing most of them to be over the Atlantic. With all that said about the Concorde, supersonic travel has not been a thing for over 17 years, which may seem surprising. If we had the tech to make a commercial supersonic aircraft in the 70s, why haven't any new ones come out? Well first, it is because of all the reasons I stated of the Concorde's retirement. Noise, restrictions, cost, passenger rates, etc. Secondly, there is actually an aircraft manufacturer working on a new passenger supersonic aircraft. This leads us to our next point. Boom. That is the name of the aircraft manufacturer making the next supersonic commercial aircraft. The aircraft will be named Overture. It will be able to fit 65 to 88 passengers, have a range of 4,250 nautical miles or 7,870 kilometers, and can travel at Mach 1.7, almost twice the speed of sound. It is set to be introduced in 2029, eight years from the making of this video. It will practically cut the flight time of a long haul in half. For instance, traveling from San Francisco to Tokyo will become six hours rather than 10 hours and 15 minutes. Newark to Frankfurt will become four hours instead of seven hours. You get the point. But what airlines will use this aircraft? On June 3, 2021, United Airlines was the first U.S. airlines to sign an agreement with the aircraft manufacturer Boom to buy up to 50 of their aircraft. Adding on to all of that, the aircraft will have 100% sustainable aviation fuel and will cruise at a flight level of 60,000 feet. Quote, net zero carbon flights designed for comfort, privacy, and productivity, end quote. Here is a clip from United's video. There is also a clip from Boom's video showing different airline liveries on the aircraft. However, these are concepts, not official airlines that will fly with this aircraft. If you look at these images taken from the video, you can see the Japan Airlines, Delta, Virgin Atlantic, British Airways, and Emirates liveries on the aircraft. Here is some information about the aircraft manufacturer, Boom. Boom's headquarters is located in Dove Valley, Colorado. Their CEO is Blake Scholl. They have a total of 170 employees. Boom was founded in Denver in the year of 2014. Before working on the Overture airliner, they made the XB-1 Baby Boom. Quote, the XB-1 Baby Boom is a one-third scale supersonic demonstrator designed to maintain Mach 2.2 with over 1,000 nautical miles or 1,900 kilometers of range, and powered by three 4,300 pounds of force dry General Electric G85-15s, end quote. Its first flight is planned to be this year or next year. And with all that said, you have made it to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching this rather short but information-packed video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Have a great day, and bye bye